It's essential for us as curators that we talk globally and we travel and we see how the design industry is handled in other countries. Uh, so I think having been here to experience the Biennale, uh, to talk about the common issues that we have in the world and to discuss how we can work together on those is an essential part of our practice. I mean, people have spoken about the really can-do attitude here, the kind of engagement with, with design, with trying things, you know, actually kind of the proximity to making and craft and desire to make things happen, that you, you know, sit back and it's not about sort of complaining about things, it's actually about doing something. And I've been really struck by that in Turkey and I think it's quite a, it's a really nice motivator for us as well, who, you know, approach design slightly differently in the UK and that difference makes it really rich. You know, it's interesting to talk about the countries of the UK and Turkey as individual countries, but I think when we talk about design, I like to think of design as being a borderless industry. I think it's the sort of start of conversations and you don't really know what's going to come out of them and I think that the Biennale has raised a whole lot of issues for people. The design industry in particular buries its head in the sand and doesn't always talk about the issues that we have and carries on as if nothing's going to change and the encouragement for me from the Biennale this year is that some of the core topics and some of the core issues that we face in the world as, uh, as humanity. I think the more we can make noise about those issues, the better. And I do firmly believe design can make the world a better place. Mm -hmm.